Oh my god. Oh wow. Look at that. That'd be Roman. You know I've never found a ring in areas like that. I have found clean it because I don't want to damage it. currently with the fines liaison officer to be identified. Finding a ring in areas like that, in the middle of nowhere in rural England, uh, is my, in my bucket list. So I'm incredibly pleased with that. I have found a number of rings on the River Thames for sure, but they all seem to be more modern and this ring here seems to have some uh, age to it. So I'm really looking forward to having it checked by an expert. But having said that, uh, I have my doubts that it could be a ring because it looks almost like a, an earring as well. I've done a bit of research and there are some early designs similar to that style there. So it ticked the boxes there. But as I said, the ring is currently with the Fines Liaison Officer. So I'll come back with a, an ID on this ring. Here is probably my find of the day, an unexpected find. As I was heading to another field, I noticed a calf stuck in mud in the middle of the river. He looked scared, very cold, unable to move with no energy whatsoever, but it was still standing. Although I knew that probably it'd been there for quite a while. So I immediately contacted the local farmer and reported what I had seen. Meanwhile, I stood by and I kept walking up and down and I decided to stick around uh, trying to see if I could actually do anything. But for me to go in the river, try to move it on my own, it would have been uh, almost impossible because with the current and with the weight of uh, the animal, I don't think I would have been able to do very much. But at least I reported that. In the meantime, mummy cow nearby kept shouting and screaming after her little baby. Just found the George the Third. I 
really see much there, but I checked a little bit earlier and I could clearly see the portrait of King George III facing right. So uh, hopefully it will actually clean up nicely. Is a George the sixth up in That's the portrait facing left. And another one, I think they were lost here together. The, the other one was from there. And this one here, I found just there. It looks like it's another George the Sixth. Yes, it is. Half penny. So probably it dropped here pretty much on the same day. Okay, it's now nearly one o'clock. I've been detecting all day. It's a really gorgeous, beautiful sunny day. Windy, a bit chilly, but sunshine. And I think I found a hammer coin. There. So, let's see if that's... Uh, There'd be an Edward. And so it's a short cross, I think. Lovely, really nice. So it's almost end of the day. And uh, that turned up. Happy days. So let's see what this is. Can you see it? It's over there. You could 
be a coin. Okay, first find of the day. It looks like a silver. And it's a William the Third, I think. of orange I have to say that was my first signal nice one nice one that was a good start and my second find I think it's a button that was from there. It looks like a button, but having said that, the coin before that looked like a button and ended up as a William the Third silver. But in this particular instance, it's not. It's a very nice button, actually. There you go. So not far from the um, William the Third. So it could be from the same period. Nice one. Right, there is something there. Came out from there. There, look. Can you see it? That. It could be another coin or another button. It's not a button. So if it's not a button, it's a coin. If it's not a coin, it's a medal or a pendant, or maybe it's a coin that has been pierced to use as a pendant. Clearly, some details there. can't see really I can't see much there so my guess is as good as yours 
So I'm going to stop here and uh, see if I can clean a little bit with a bit of water. Well, I'm pleased to say that it's a coin and I think it's a George the Fourth facing left and that is the Britannia there Just bear with me see that's the Britannia there And here is the portrait of George IV facing left, if I'm not wrong. And one more coin going. That one was quite deep. That was from uh, that edge over there. And, uh, and I think it's another silver, silver, silver. Yes, it is a silver coin. Does it say six pence there? I think it does. And 18. I don't want to turn over to see the portrait until I see the date. Is that 18? Uh, Eighteen forty-one. So, if that is the case, it would be a Victoria, and I was absolutely spot on. It's a Vicky sixpence. Nice one. Really good. Good start. I haven't been here. I've been here for less than an hour and I have found four very interesting finds. So it's not a bad start. All right. Good news. As I was uh, filling up the hole, I noticed there was another signal from the same hole where I found the Victoria sixpence, silver, silver sixpence. And there's something here. So let's find out what that could be. So it's in there somewhere. Oh, look, and it's another coin. So that could be another silver by the look of it. Nice. Very nice. That's uh, just to prove that, you know, you should check the hole before you actually walk away from it. Because there might be some finds there. Might be another Victoria because it was pretty much in the same hole. I would be surprised if it's not a Victoria. That's a beauty. Look at that. 1842. That's beautiful. Look at that. That's really nice. So it is a Victoria. And that's the portrait. That's a gorgeous coin. 
in perfect condition, really. You know what? I think that's my first four pens going. I've never found one before. Oh my God, what a day. I haven't been here for even an hour. And that's uh, another very great find. Happy days. And guess what? It's another coin. Look at that. Okay, so what could that be? I think it's a penny. By the size of it. incredible I'm following a path here and it seems like this path it's been here for years and years the can't see much there now I tried to clean the coin again and I must say I'm not convinced it's a penny it looks like the Britannia is there. Can you see it? So it could be a George the Third halfpenny. There is something there. 